What's going on guys? Blender Ben from Blender Ben Studios and today I'm going to show you guys how to go about creating these eyebrows that you see on this character inside of Blender using a Photoshop or any similar program. Let's get into it. Alright guys, so there's plenty of ways we can go about creating eyebrows. We can use uh, particles with weight paint, vertex groups, so forth and so on, hair cards. Um, I guess this is a form of using hair cards. Um, first we need to identify the section that we want the eyebrows to be. So I'm going to select the mesh of the character, hit tab, go into edit mode, switch the edit mode from vertice to face mode. What I'll do is select the areas that I want the eyebrows to be applied to. We'll just pick a general area like this. I'm just holding down shift and selecting these so I can select multiple. I'm sure this is fine, but we could actually grab this section too, just in case we need to grab more. Um, we can grab this section as well. Not that we're going to use all of this um, faces that we selected, we just want to have a general shape here. So once you have this selected, we can press Shift D to duplicate, right click to cancel the movement, and let's hit P on the keyboard so we can uh, separate this by selection. Now if we exit edit mode, go to object mode, we can click in this area to select the newly created mesh. And let's go to materials and just take off any materials that may be applied from the actual character model. And just to help us out a little bit better, we're just gonna pull this forward a little bit. So we're going to um, press G, then Y, so we can move this apart from the mesh so we can see it better. And if we press, um, we can turn on the wireframe really quick. So go to this tab, object properties, go to viewport display, and we can go to uh, wireframe. And we can do the same for the character if need be, or we could just toggle this on. And you can see that by doing it this way, we have the same exact faces of the character's topology. And that's really important. So when we start doing the forms, we're making the eyebrows make expressions. It follows along properly. And um, once you have this set, we need to do a quick UV on it. Let's go back to shading mode. And what I want to do is go to UV editing. Zoom in on this with period. And I'm just going to project this from uh, view. So I'm just going to Press A to select all the faces that make up this mesh. Then press U to go to unwrap. And I'm going to project from view. It's going to give me a shape like this. I just want to scale this up to be as big as I can without going past these borders and boundaries. So we can select it here. Hit S. And we can just fit this here. And then we can go to where it says UV at the top. And then go to where are you at? Export UV layout. And we can save this somewhere that you're gonna remember it. So I'll just save it here on the desktop. I'll create a new folder called Browse. And I'll just dive in there and save this as eyebrows. Export UV layout. And before we export, you can see that the size is uh, 1024, which is 1K texture. So we save that out. You want to save your scene. And you can use any other application. You can even use Blender for this, but I'm going to use Photoshop because I'm more proficient in Photoshop. So open up Photoshop, create a new uh, document, and we can just size this to be uh, 1024 by 1024, the same size as our UV sheet. Hit create. And now we have this canvas. And now we just need to pull up our file of our UVs that we exported from Blender. So mine is in the folder called Eyebrows. I'm gonna drag this into Photoshop. You see it's in the exact location it should be. And this is just gonna be here for our reference of where our eyebrow needs to fit in. So after we use this as a reference, we're gonna to go to a website called pngtree.com, www.pngtree.com. And you don't have to buy any of this, this is all free. 
it's gonna ask you to sign in. Just sign in with your Google account. And I'm gonna type in eyebrow. I'm gonna find something that looks good to me. So once you find uh, eyebrow you like, what you can do is just um, select it and download PNG. Don't do any of this stuff. It gives you free downloads so you can press free download. And once that's done downloading, you can just drag that into your Photoshop document. I'm gonna right click and go to flip horizontal. And I'm gonna scale this up by holding alt and dragging from the right corner till I get something around here. Just make it fit inside this UV plane here. Once you're satisfied, you can check this. And on the right side of here in the layers, we're gonna right click and go to rasterize. We can use our polygonal lasso tool. And we can just get rid of the area that we don't want, which is this eye here. And delete. And once you delete that, we can now toggle off the background because we don't need that. And we can toggle off the eyebrow uh, UV texture because we don't need that anymore. We can just go to File, Export, Quick PNG. So I'm going to save this in my eyebrow collection and I'm just going to save this um, as eyebrow underscore texture. And boom, there you go. Now let's go back to Blender. So back inside Blender, we can just go back to the layout format. Select our eyebrow if it's not selected. Go to Material, hit New. And let's go to the, um, the Shading tab. And I just wanna hit Shift A, go to uh, Texture, image texture, go to open, and I wanna grab that Photoshop um, image we just exported. So it's gonna be browse and it's gonna be um, eyebrow texture. I'm gonna drag color to color and alpha to alpha. Go back to the layout. And now you're gonna see we get this weird thing going on here. What is this? We need to change the blending mode. So let's go to the materials slider here and where it says uh, blend mode, we're gonna change this to uh, alpha blend. And this looks good as well. And this is maybe what, closer to what we're looking for. I think that's good. And you can change the roughness as well. If you don't want it to be super glossy. All right guys, so how do we go about mirroring this eyebrow to the opposite side? We want to first select the eyebrow, go to the modifiers tab, add modifier, and we're going to add a mirror modifier. And mirror object is going to be the character, so it's going to mirror under there. Now we can just apply it. But there's one thing that's wrong with this is the fact that if I were to move the face, right? Let's go to scope mode. It moves the geometry of the character, but the eyebrows don't follow. So how can we fix that? We can do this two ways. We can add a um, shrink wrap modifier, which is fine. But I think what we want to do is just um, apply this to the mesh. So we can select the eyebrows, shift select the character. And we can hit control J to combine those two. Now, if we select the character mesh, we can go to scope mode and you can see if now we want to create an expression, we can easily do that and it follows the skin perfectly. See, you can turn off mirror if you only want to affect one side, you can do that. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this tutorial. It was short, quick and to the point. And if you did give the video a thumbs up, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.